There's more news trending about high-profile athletes acting like Tomcats. Tiger Woods is certainly not alone in this field. There have been others before him and others to follow. The most recent scandal, of course, involving Vikings quarterback Brett Favre. Patrick Foe follows the sports world, and he writes for WeLoveDC.com. So what do you make of this whole controversy with uh, the QB? Well, you know, a storm came into uh, last night's Monday Night Football game, and I'm not talking about the weather. Obviously, we're talking about Brett Favre getting involved with the sexing scandal with the former um, female Jets employee. Mm -hmm. Now, now Masseus has come forward. I mean, yeah, and, and so all this, and the problem is that there's not little news to go on. Like, uh, the latest news has been he's, he's done what he's supposed to be doing. He's keeping quiet and he's also apologizing to his teammates. So now what's happening now is that there's this big vacuum and people are asking questions. Um, his performance yesterday was okay, he threw for three touchdowns, but then he also had three turnovers. So people are asking, uh, you're, they're asking the, uh, for a quarterback that comes back, causes drama every year. Are you gonna come back every year? Are yeah, you gonna come yeah. back? This is last year. And it, not only is this gonna be his last year, but is this gonna be his last year clouded amongst all this scandal because uh, this is the Hall of Fame quarterback we're talking about. He threw his 500th touchdown yeah. uh, pass last he's, night. He's, this is unwan unwanted attention, certainly. And let's, let's move on to the Transformers film because mm -hmm. it's getting, it's been cursed. I mean, you've, you've mentioned this yourself. We had the accident involving the, the police yep. uh, SUV. Uh, various people have various opinions. You know, it was getting from point A to point B the fastest it could, and we'll, we'll roll the accident again. But, you know, a lot of us are thinking, well, the, the cops were just wrong, no matter how they're, you know, surrounding themselves with, the, with this blue line of, of defending what happened. But they were, they were wrong. The, the, you, 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 you're on a close set, you, you pay the city to have a close set, and this exactly. happens, right? Well, here's the thing. Like, when I was watching the video of the police uh, penetrating that closed barrier, they're, so they're penetrating the barrier, they're getting into the accident, and I'm thinking, well, this is something that we've known for for weeks, Tiffany Bridge, Tom Bridge over at We Love DC have been reporting amongst other outlets about these street closures a week well in advance. So mm -hmm. even though the police officer was on the wrong frequency, everyone in the city knew that the movie was coming. And as you said, the movie is still here. And funny that you talk about the list. Tonight they're going to actually film around the mall and the White House. So. Well, I mean, we're just lucky <laughs> that nobody was killed. It could have been somebody, you know, on, on the street. Absolutely. Uh, you like the movie in general, though? Because you said it's, it's been cursed. Yeah, yeah. The, the film's been cursed. This is actually the second accident for Transformers 3. Earlier in production, a woman had her skull sliced open while driving an extra car during an action scene. So, you know, this is a cursed movie, uh, I feel. And it took them a long time to get to where they are this week because they mm -hmm. kept setting back the shooting schedule, too. And that's expensive. Yeah, and so, so you're talking about wasting money, getting accidents, bad publicity, and Megan Fox is not in it. And I'll tell you, not a lot of people were fans of the, of the sequel. I saw the sequel, and I wasn't a big fan of it. So. Well, we'll see what this one turns out to be. Patrick Foe, yep. thanks for being with us, sharing your views. See you yep. next time. My pleasure.